Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I want to um, express my condolences to the people who lost loved ones in the latest situation where in Atlanta, a man, a gunman, went inside of a couple of massage parlors and gunned down eight people. Okay? Now, I know what you guys are wanting me to do because it's just, it's just for you, it's what feels better. Because you want to attach a narrative to this, and I'm responding to a, uh, this this gentleman out here. Okay, I, I like this this guy's channel, so I'm not bad mouthing the man himself. Uh, he's got a channel called the Pascal Show, and he's a very I like his insight. He has a lot of things to say that are very uh, that have a lot of, of truth to it, and a lot of stuff that maybe we don't look at every day. I think it's a very uh, he contributes a lot. Okay, but. To this particular case was in, is is where a white male stormed into these two establishments, killing eight people. Six of them were Asian. Okay, I don't know if you know this or not, but there's a lot of those places, those massage parlors like that, that are open up at one o'clock in the morning with their lights still on for a reason that are mostly comprised of Asian people. And, and they, and that's the truth. That is the truth that here in the Houston area, there's a lot of those places. Okay. We, there was a big sting operation on, on that, on those establishments. They busted a lot of people, man. Okay. And a lot of these, these people, these females, they come from China and wherever else, man. And they, they haven't worked in these places. And, and, and I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but I'll tell you this right now. I've, uh, during some of those sting operations that I've learned about and some of the other things, I heard some other people talking about how they have gone into those establishments in, in the middle of the night or whatever, after coming out of a bar, or they see one of these places in a strip store and they go in and they've, they, you know, they have their credit card and they swipe their card and there's like, you know, uh, it's a hundred dollars or whatever their price was and the, uh, they, they, they check their bank account the next day or whatever it is. Okay. Uh, stupid on them on their part. Okay. But there's like $500 missing or something like that. Okay. Uh, these places are also notorious for, for jacking your credit card too. Um, and so I just want to put that out there. I want to lay that foundation out there. Okay. Uh, yes, there was a white man that killed eight people. Six of them were Asian, where they were in massage parlors that has Asian women in, on 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 the side, uh, you know, Asian massage on the side of their store that they put up there on their own on those windows. Okay, yes, that's true. And the what has been given to the public from the police at this point was that this man has a sexual addiction which they did not state was the motive of the crime. What they stated was that his sexual addiction was what fueled his desire to frequent these places. Okay? And so, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be so presumptuous, but I just want to put a situation out there as a maybe. Because it seems like you are so certain that this is a racially motivated hate crime. Let me tell you something. You take the word racial out of there, and yes, it was a hate crime. Any crime where one person murders another is hateful in nature, number one. Number two, okay, uh, we live in a country where some neighborhoods, people jack you for a piece of gum, dude, okay? Beat your ass, steal your shoes, you know, shoot you for no reason in some of these neighborhoods. Now, um, do you find it hard to believe that maybe, just maybe if they jacked his money off his credit card or maybe he had a bad thing, going, do you really find it hard to believe that somebody wouldn't do that on that motivation alone? That's what you have to ask yourself. And I'm going to tell you this. Do I think it was a racially motivated hate crime? Maybe. There's a good chance that it was. I, I'm not going to sit here as a white guy and try to act like some kind of attorney on behalf of white people. I know there's people out there that are racist, man, that are my skin color. I do acknowledge that. I've worked for companies before uh, where they had a good old boys club in there. And they thought that I was cool or whatever. And they would tell racist jokes out in the shop and stuff. 
And I was that one person that didn't laugh, afraid to lose my job because I didn't laugh. And I, I wound up quitting those places anyway. And I know what you're thinking right now. Oh, poor white guy. Oh, that must have been rough for you. Well, you know what? It wasn't rough for me. I just didn't want to be around it. Okay? So, you just, that's, that's kind of, I guess, my question to you. And, and kind of a respectful way. I hate to, I mean, there's no respectful way to, to, for me to say this or to put this, but who do you folks think you are to just come out here and throw that out there and stir the pot when you don't even know what happened? You're not even investigating this crime. And you apparently did not listen to the investigator or to, uh, to the police when they were talking about this in the press conference. They did not say one time that his sexual addiction was the motivation of the crime. They said that his sexual addiction was the purpose that he would frequent these places. And I'm thinking somebody did him wrong in one of these places. And maybe he went to go try to settle up with them and they wouldn't do it or whatever. You know, you don't know what happened. Or maybe he just saw the word Asian on there and said, hey, I'm going to go kill these Asian people. That's a 50-50. He may have done that. Yeah. I have no problem denying that. I'm not one of these people that'll deny that if I see it. I know it exists. Okay, but for folks to just come out there and, and throw it's it makes me ask you a question like this. I have a question for you. Are you not concerned that eight people are dead, or are you just concerned that six of them were Asian? And I'm going to sit here and try to build a narrative out of this crap. Come on, man. <laughs>